Hi, my name's Lindsay. I'm back. I am thankfully on our Art Fest that I get to teach on in the summer and a lot of other um, activities that we do at um, different sites, school functions or um, YMCA might do something or if we have a park function at our River Oak Park, we'll be there. So today I uh, was looking at my recycling bin and I thought, hey, this might be a fun idea. So I got out our good old cereal boxes. We had a brownie box and my even put lunch box, you know, chip bags that they aren't going to school anymore. So they're going through really fast, but this is another box I saw. We are gonna make postcards. How fun would it be to create postcards that are already pre-made, ta-da. So in order to do that, you're gonna look around for boxes that you might have. And if you don't have any boxes, that is absolutely fine. I have a feeling you do because a lot of people are shipping nowadays, so you're going to have some sort of packaging thing that you're going to be able to use. This came in with, um, I think, oh, my stamps. I bought stamps so I can mail my postcards. This came in with it. Perfect. You're going to just cut it down. We're going to start with this. I've got Frosted Flakes. I love this tiger. He's icon, you know, to so many generations. So. We're gonna take our box, we flattened it. We've got a peek inside, because it isn't all one piece, they don't make it. And I'm gonna slide it open. It came undone really easily. Then what I'm gonna do next is I am going to, I actually found some old postcards upon cleaning up, which is what we do now because we're all at home and we're spring cleaning. So I have an old postcard, which is actually really great because it shows me where stamps need to go as well. So I really like this. I'll probably be using this in the future for a lot of other for other art projects that I have that I will be teaching. So I have this one to trace from and it's great because it's also our generic postcard size. Postcards can be almost any size. I know my mom sent me a, a coconut once from Hawaii. So you can mail almost anything, but there might be more postage required. So that's something to keep in mind. I was looking for postcard stamps. They don't have them anymore. They're all just general. So, um, so this is an old thing. Goodness, I have this old one. So let's start with this. I'm going to take my postcard in order to get an idea of what do I want to do? What do I want to use? Do I want to use this bowl of cereal? I, I got excited because I really like his face. So right here in the middle, I'm not, oh, that's going to be, obviously, this is way too, I'm going to turn it over for you guys because I'm nice. Um, this is way, the Tony the Tiger is way too big, but that's okay because I think it'd be really cute just to even have half his face. Why not? But upon looking at that, I'm like, I'm still wasting all this stuff. Don't worry. You're not. You can make more postcards because I'm going to, I want you to save this, um, your leftover pieces for another project that I will be making. Um, so here I've got this. I'm like, all right, I, I really like that idea. So I'm going to take a pencil. And I'm going to trace this. If you don't have a postcard, I will measure. Oh, my pencil just broke. Of course. And I don't have a spare one. I do, actually. No, I don't. Anyways, okay. That's okay. I can do this because I am me. Oh, I have crayons. Let's try crayon. Why not? Uh, perfect. It's going to do that trick there. Let me see. Here. Oh, it's working. It's fine. I'll be fine because I see this graph. Yep, perfect. And then I'm going to trace here. Now I'm going to take this. Now once again, you, believe it or not, kids' scissors will work because they are nice and sharp. I'm going to cut down the seam here. And I am going to go across. I'm going to cut to the inside of my line. Always cut to the inside of your line because then you don't have to see it later on. So when you trace something, I like to trace on the ins, I like to cut on the inside of my line and I will not see it when I go to glue it down if that's the actual side I'm using. If you don't cut a perfect straight line, it's not a big deal, you guys. We're just, we're just playing. We're giving ourselves something to do and something fun to mail and hopefully, and if it doesn't make it, it doesn't make it. That's happened to me in the past. So as I continue, I'm able to cut this. Boom, there it is. Now, that's okay. We're gonna hold on to this, so just put it to the side. So now I have this fabulous little face. I think it'd be great. It'd be fun to get in the mail with someone. The next thing I'm gonna do is I can turn it over. You can leave it blank, because there might not be any writing on it, which is great. Otherwise, if you don't, 
I've got a white piece of paper. All of you guys are going to have a white piece of paper, whether it's junk mail or in your copy machine. You know what might be funny? Even a magazine piece, a newspaper piece. Um, there's going to be something lying around if you want your white background. Another idea, which I really liked, was I bet your kids are all coloring and creating so much artwork. If you take a look at your picture, your postcard, you can just draw a picture on it. It can be a turtle, a smiling face, a heart that just says smile. How fun would that be to receive in the mail from someone? Just that poster that says smile. I love this idea. So here I am. I'm going to do this. We're going to do the same thing. I've got my white piece of paper. I am going to hold it in place. I don't need to trace this time because I'm like, it's handheld size now. We're going to cut this down. Now we're going to glue it on. But before we glue it on, I want you guys to... You can glue it on before or after. I'm going to glue it on after. If you glue it on before, which is great, you're going to have to let it dry. I also don't want you to use a glue stick. You need to use white glue, tacky glue, something firm that's going to hold it. I love my trusty Mod Podge. It works really great. So from there, I'm going to do this separately, though. I also want to keep in mind of what the postcard looks like and how it's supposed to be mailed. We have our address here, our stamp goes here, and this is that sticker that they postmark on things. So we want to make sure that we leave that space available as well. Um, I'm going to put it upside down. I think I'm going to, I love my heart idea. I've got a bowl of crayons right here. And I'm just going to put a big old heart. Color it in. I like using different colors when I create just because I think it's more fun. It adds variation. And I can scribble. So I'm going to keep going. Let's fill this in. Ooh, I like these. Here we go. Get orange. I did do orange. I need yellow. That's what I want is a yellow. There's a yellow. Overlap your colors. See if they mix. These are crayons. I'm using crayons because um, since I'm gluing it on afterwards, it won't run. A lot of people love to use the markers. You, a lot of you will have washable markers. It might run. Just saying. So that's why um, I chose crayons to draw so I can do this later. Here I'm going to write the word smile all right ta-da and then maybe with uh, of course I don't have it oh I have my markers you can also use um, permanent markers which work great I've got a bag right here that I always usually carry around with me I'm gonna write from Lindsay oh I now I might be missed up this might get covered up because remember there's that little line there We'll see what happens. But there's that. I left room for the address that I can write and I left room for the stamp. So then my next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this, my Mod Podge, my Mod Podge brush. I really like this brush because um, it's, it's pl a plastic kind. A friend of mine has a better brush. I'm going to cover this all up. Remember, get it all over. And as you make these more and more and more, you'll, you'll get it'll be easier and you'll find out your own technique. There we go, put it on. I had to check to make sure the face was the right direction. All right, now once again, it's a little bit off, but that is fine. So here's my Tony the Tiger postcard. Here's my little message on the other side. That would be what I've done. Ta-da! This is what we can make with our old boxes that we have around, you know, your cereal boxes or whatever you might be making. Um, behind me here, I have some more examples. And I put pattern paper on the back. You can put little scribbles on the back if you want. Um, so I hope you enjoy this. If you want to, I know the park would love to receive some. We'll put it on our, uh, we'll hopefully put it somewhere where you guys can maybe send them to the park because I know I would love to see all these different postcards that you guys might be creating at home. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Create.